You as an engineer, what do you think AI is? So, okay, there's a bunch of answers to that question. Uh, first, let's start with the Hollywood answer, right? Okay. AI is R2-D2, C3PO, it's, it's, it's smart, um, emotional machines, it's too humanoid in our space, or it's giant killer robots taking over the world, or it's machines that want to be more human. Uh, Frankenstein, okay. genetic commander data, etc. So, so what, what AI is for real, though, is something that is, can be very useful. The goal is the shift to let's solve an actual real world problem. Um, I'm in mm. a factory, I have to tell this widget apart from this widget with a camera. Um, let's solve this limited image classification problem. Um, let's solve a problem where um, I've got to figure out what music you're going to want to listen to next. I have to figure out what TV show, what, what, what cat video do you want to see next on the internet. Mm. Um, so these problems are far more local, far more focused, with data that's far more relevant to solving the problem at hand. I think that one of the things that you probably have to fight against is this, there is a Hollywood notion of um, whenever you build an AI, what happens in the movie, the AI goes rogue. I mean, the robots can't even tie shoes. Right? If you're gonna take over the world, you can't trip over your shoelaces when you're doing it. Giant killer robots and cat videos. Um, there's all the stuff in between that, that you don't see. So at Google, um, I'm working on um, a team, uh, Project uh, AIY, mm -hmm. um, uh, Artificial Intelligence and You. It's, it's like DIY AI, uh -huh. do-it-yourself AI. Uh -huh. but, so there's AI everywhere that is it's doing its job, it's, but its job is very small, very limited, and it does its job well, and your life just gets a little better. 